Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, here with another LEGO Indiana Jones review, and this one is on the Peril in Peru from 2008. So we're going to start out with the meeting fix, like always. Alright. Okay. First up, we would have you know, Indiana Jones himself, which quite the same as from most of the other sets that was but although like I said in a few other reviews should have had a little different printing to him since of course in this film uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was a little bit older quite older then and I, maybe if this were remade now I would expect that but yeah whatever aside from that and exclusive to or that also does come with the Crystal Skull, which is a key part of this movie. Oh, hang on. See, it was quite interesting how it is. Kind of looking kind of close to as it does in the movie. Well, although it does have this large blue bit in it. It's not sure why, but probably to represent the rest of the bit, although it would be nice if it were all glittery if done nowadays, but, I mean, but yeah, but aside from that, quite fair as is. And then next to which have Mutt Williams, which is Indies and Mary Ravenwood's son. And of course, And he, of course, is having a, like, and of course with the nice face printing, good hairpiece quite well fitting to him, and also holding the classic knife piece, or dagger type of piece for that, and whereas not at all the leg printing to him. And also, whereas for the uh, jacket bit, which you can definitely use on some old style greaser mini figs in it also does say mutt on the side of it, but all unless we maybe that's forgiven, but yeah. And next which have the main antagonist of this film, Irina Spalko. Well, for Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, that is. And which did come in the uh, jungle encounter set and a couple others. And of course, as for the hair piece of which does well fitting to her and Face printing, uh, quite all right, and the torso torso printing, uh, quite good for how it is, but without the side bit side gaps to it, which if she were done now, probably expect that. But yeah, but also so like like print, also not only like printing, but which is kind of fitting to her. But aside from that, also wielding the classic musket type sword piece. Or just sword piece there, but yeah. We also do get two German soldier minifigs. One with the dark tan outfit with the classic cop hat, also in that color, and also kind of weird double side face or kind of weird face printing, and and of course wielding the clone trooper or blaster piece from the earlier Star Wars Clone War sets, but yeah, and also one that did come in a few other sets and. Holding rifle and handcuffs. And that's all the things from the back, so which not at all the back torso print thing. And also not at all the double side faces for each of them. Well, since they are much earlier uh, earlier figs, of course. And as is, I think this new fig selection quite good for how it is, but yeah. And first, for all the side builds, is you get this little sword rack, which kind of similar to the one that came in the Jungle Encounter set, coming with both the knight sword piece and katana, of course, and of course, rotation around. And, but yeah. And also, do get this one that's probably have a couple of like gasoline or something canisters, comprised of just the traditional. 
or red cylinder pieces in si similar palette build as the other one kind of did, but yeah. And that was it with that. And now on to this little airport uh, jeep kind of thing. Uh, which quite good for how it is like interesting use of some of those carp uh, rim pieces and also a couple of tap pieces holding the headlights on and have wheels and bolt sizes as and although from first glance does look kind of like a tractor in a or city tractor in a poly bag build but at least interesting seeing that here but not used as that but yeah and also there's a little steering wheel and a seat back there and a couple more oh whoops lights on the sides of which and as for this back section or on both uh, sides does have a little clip kind of piece to it which I'll show in a while but yeah what else do you get two little uh behind pull or trailers for it to pull like this one which has a couple smaller wheels to it and also back tail lights for there and also plain guiding things there and also this little section which is for mostly carrying the like other side builds on the, the sides and although these still workable in most like a city sets nowadays but yeah and what and also do you have a little ball joint bit to it where you can attach it to that and roll around like so but also you get and also this little one that's kind of the same deal but with a stairway that leads to the main plane build of which uh, which small build but well effective like a couple wheel bits to it and also curved plates as a course and also all of these little stair corners that have tiles on it would have been better if they were just uh, plates instead it's to of course if you're like making some still photos with mini things going on to it and not worry about them falling off but yeah and also you get an exophorus hand to stand it up properly and same thing you can attach to there and pull it behind like so although what i think would have been better is if this one also had a clip bit on the back of it and let it be pulled along as well also like like most luggage luggage carriers at most airports do but sorry for that don't know. and also do you get this little jeep build which kind of similar to the jeep that came in the poly bag set and for uh, as is how it's built uh, which done kind of like some uh, later lego jeep so like like this front bit which does have those common regal pieces and all as the grill and also a bar piece used as the bumper and couple of headlight or clear studs as the headlights and those usual wheel pieces out as this in this back section which is most which does have a little has a few studs to sit one of your me one of your German trooper mini pigs onto of course and as for this back section which has a stickered plate on the side so which and connected by one of those kinds of pieces that are used to put uh, back pieces on the backs of minifigures there's kind of interesting how that is well and i think we did see that in a few other sets after this one but yeah. and as for this back section enough to like put one of your side builds onto it and they do fit on as is but yeah and also another one of those pieces and a couple red studs as back tail lights. But aside from that, it's quite a fair good build for how it is, but yeah.
And now on to the actual main build, which is this airplane itself. And of course this is supposed to be one of the older mini thing, old old style planes to it. And oh also you know, one other mini thing I forgot to mention is the pilot. Uh, which front torso printing done quite good. Face printing quite well. A classic cop cap, but in white. Nice to see there. And no door double side face or back torso printing. Now why I forgot to show it in the minifig selection, because I forgot to have it in there, but at least that's all. Kind of common, but yeah. But uh, so now for the plane itself as is. So it's like this front section, which has just one bit of snot going on, like which is just with these two dome pieces as the nose bit, and also the rest of which usually have those like corner bricks going on, but. If this were done nowadays, I'd probably expect some like more snot going off with like cheap slopes and all. And also, do you have one of those a little a larger slope bits in the front? But the rest of which quite as this. And as for this center section, which comprised of a usual steering wheel piece, which would have been better if it was a couple levers for that end. Also, a jagged slope wheel using as the plane instruments, of course, and enough room to sit your pilot minifig into and let it connect to just two studs on there, but yeah. And so now on to the uh, little wings of which, which, of which good symmetry to this uh, vehicle, or this plane, of course, and of course comprised of mostly a few different plates and if you look from the sides, which kind of frail as is, well, although I think could be nice if this plate was moved out a little bit more, and or maybe this is just fine as is, because that would make it a lot wider, of course. Whereas for these engines, built just about like actual old style airplane engines, and also get two of the classic propeller pieces that you spin around as is. Is, and of course one of those little classic pieces and also a couple of wheel like pieces and a large slope representing the large engines of it. As for this bottom section which comprised of like one of those like semi truck uh, exhaust pipes that there are or mufflers that there are but at least good to see used on something that's not a semi truck for that. And I'll do get these few technic beams here with a wheel on it representing its landing gear and do fold in quite well. And as for the side parts of the plane, of uh, which says, says Panagara Airways. Is, and oh, which are the usual uh, canopy cockpit kind of pieces, but in clear with nice stickers or maybe with stickers representing that, and still quite effective. And on top part is a smallish antenna, or I mean, used as an antenna is a little lever piece and also a clear dish piece, probably used as like the uh, radar of it. And you can like lift this off and you get some bit of interior space to it. Like a couple of like another also another palette I forgot to mention about which same build as the other two, but a couple of crates on it which don't have anything in them. Well with them outside is do you get plenty of space to fit like three mini things into a course? and also this little back section which this little bit acts as a hold handle where you can pull down and have your mini figs lock into of course and well with this little build to it kind of align it just well uh, I'm kind of, it's kind of confusing how that is but yeah and all of which is fitting on 
both the four studs and two jumpers back there. And as for the uh, back section, or back tail wing section, which, as you see, comprises mostly some more uh, corner uh, bricks and uh, curved slopes and uh, with a sticker on it, and also uh, Panagara again, but in some odd font, there. and also a little numbering for that, and as you see, the tail wing, mostly just uh, jagged slopes, as is kind of like most uh, airplane sets we've ever had. And, and also, as for the tail wings that are kind of similar to the front wings, but, but of course a lot smaller and still as much effective. And also, one, and also a little curved piece down below, although it would be nice if it were elevated more so that walkway ramp can actually align with this section, but yeah. So for my overall verdict is, so overall, I think this is which a quite good set, really good set, as is, like, do you get one large plane, well, old style plane there, and also five mini, five or six mini figs included with it, and of course, two of the main characters of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull and the lead antagonist, one, an Irina, of course, but Aside from that, and also a few good small side builds of which, which for, so you get plenty of good stuff for a good price of which, but like if this were remade nowadays, I think could have been a little bit better, but yeah, like some more snot going on, but aside from that, the size for price of which, quite good for how it is, although if this were redone nowadays, probably be like uh, 60 to 70 by now. Uh, but whatever, and also if this were remade nowadays, probably wouldn't include wouldn't include all the side builds except for the jeep, of course. But yeah, and uh, not much else to say about it. But yeah, and so now if you're looking to get this set, or as is, well, or I mean, yeah. And so now, if you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And if you're look, and if you're looking, to, and if you haven't yet gotten, and still are looking to get this set, well, definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever, or or even Macari, or whatever. But yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.